Shodobro Dosho, which means welcome. This is Net Code Up Channel. This lesson, we are going to talk about using Carousel View to display images or text. We have some packages that we need to install. That's actually community2k.mvvm. So we need to install this package because you're going to use the model view view mode architecture to use this carousel. So once you have this package installed, we are going to create a page. So you can see we have this main page already. And now the next thing I'm going to do here is we're going to create a view model. So right click on the project and now let's go to view model. So we click on add and that is a class and I'm going to add main page view model. So this main page view model is going to be partial class and we have to add a public. And it has to inherit from observable objects. Okay, so we have this. Now let's go in there and create a model. So right click on this, click on add, and we create one model. And maybe this is going to be um, carousel item. So we have this carousel item and we add this class. And here we have the public. So let's have maybe item and so PROP, we have this. Like I said, there's a title. Then let's have another, another one. And this also string. And this is description. And now let's have the last one. And this is also string. And this will be image. So we have this. So let's add, let's register the view model and the view, and the view in the program.cs. So builder.services dot add singleton and now here let's add main page view model and we do same to the page so builder dot services dot add singleton then here we add main page okay so after doing this Let's bind the view model to its content page context. So that is the main page the XML. You see, we have the code behind file. So in here, we are going to bind it and we say main page view model, create an object, then let's bind the context. Okay, so after doing this, this method, we can clear this off. Let's save that. Now let's go to the main page, for example. So here, let's add the namespace. So here we have the namespace, we give it a name and we pass in namespace and now the demo and let's specify the data type. So data type here is going to be main page view model. So we pass in the view model, then we can have main page view model. So that is the main page view model. So let's choose that. Okay. So now let's go in there and populate it. Now, before we do that, we have to get some images to use. Let's quickly grab a model for, for this work. Now, right click on project and let's add new class. And now here, I'm going to name it as carousel item. So 
So with this item, it's going to be public, and we're going to have um, title, description, and image. Okay, so now we have this. Let's go to our main page view model. Now let's create an observable collection here. So we create public observable collection and then we say it is carousel items because we are using carousel item model. Let's initialize this to new. Now let's create constructor to set up this. So we're going to say carousel item items dot add. And here it's going to be new carousel item. Then let's set title. So the title, let's pass in something like And let's set description. And let's set the image. So we can set image to. So slide one dot now i have some images here so you can see that from here when i go to my resources folder another images i have some images that i need to add them so you can see from here i have the images here slide one up to slide three so i'm going to pass in slide one and the extension is png and i'm going to add this two times And now this is going to be slide three and slide two. So let's add the last one. Okay, so let's say we have this with a title and a description for each. We have carousel items here, now we are adding these items when the page loads. So let's bind this to the page, and that's the main page. For example, so here we can use carousel view, 
And now it is causal view. We can specify the item here. So item source. And we are going to bind it to carousel items. In that we have carousel view dot item template. So we can specify item template here. Now inside item template, we're going to have data template. And our data template, we need to specify the model. So X data type. Then we're going to say local and we're going to have carousel item here. So when we come to the first one, we can specify with grid section. Now with grid, let's talk about row definitions. So we have 60 and we have 40. So star and I'm going to say dot 40 star. So to ratio dot 60 star. Okay, so we have two sections. Now the first one inside this, the first one is going to be image. So this image, I'm going to have the source bind this to you. That is an image and the width request 250 and let's say the height request 200. Also, after this image, Let's have vertical stack layout. And now here I'm saying grid dot row, that is one. And in here, we're gonna have label and this test we set to the title. So title, now the font size, we set to title. We close this. And let's set one for the description. So another label, we set test to description, then font size is going to be default. And now we close that. Let's come to the vertical stack layout. Let's set spacing up to 10. Now the image. Let's set vertical options to center. Let's set this to start. Then horizontal option, set it to center. Now let's run this and see. So all of these you want to have cause the item. Let's set pattern. So let's set a pattern across. So let's use stack layout. Let's cut this and use stack layout. We can set pattern to 10. Let's paste this, save that, and let's run this application and see. So we have an exception here, unable to resolve service type. Let's check the uh, myuprogram.cs to see the registration. Okay, so here supposed to be main page view model. So view model, save this, let's restart. All right, so you can see we have it displayed here. Now you can see we can swap it. So let's see, we have this. So now what you have to do is let's format this well. Let's put it to the bottom. So the same page and now where we have this vertical stack layout. Maybe we can set vertical options to end and expand. So maybe this is going to move this to the end. So that is it. And also the next thing we can add a button here. Okay, to maybe click if it is we are doing it for registration. You can add a button over there to to move it up there. But before we do that, let's talk about indicator. So we can use indicator to tell us the number of views or the number of um, cell carousels that we have. Definitely, we currently we have three. So we can add indicator to it. Now to add indicator, where we have the carousel item, we can add it down here. And it's going to be just indicator view. And now with this indicator view, we have to give it a name. So X name. 
and now we say this is indicator and also we can specify vertical option as center and expand we can set up the color so let's see indicator color we can make it at maybe yeah brown be okay and also the next thing that we can talk about here is indicator size so as you can see from here and let's specify it as 12. now one thing that i want to talk about that is selected indicator so the current item here you want to set that to maybe green green now with the indicator name that we have specified here let's go to the causal item and in here we have to specify or set that name over there so it can recognize this so to do that we're going to use indicator view and i just paste in the name so edit this and now let's restart this and see the indicator view over here All right, so as you can see from here, now we have this implemented and we have the image and now the test. Now this indicator, so you can see that the current one gets as green and you can see it start from the first one. So maybe if you don't want to loop, then you can set loop to off. Now come to the indicate carousel and now here you can set maybe loop. You can set this to false. Now this will just stop as soon as it gets to the third one. So let's reload this page. All right, so let's see now the first one. So this is the second. Now third. Now we see it's not going again. So it goes to the first, and it is not going again. Okay, so uh, that will be all. Now you can see we have this carousel and you can now click on this button to perform an action here. So that is a way to integrate carousel in your application when you want to use um, Vmodel. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much. I believe this is going to help you and uh, catch you up.